I spent 30 days building apps with AI agents, and one platform helped me ship 12 production-ready apps that actually worked. While everyone's stuck making pretty prototypes with Bolt and V0, I discovered something that changed everything about no-code development. And the biggest surprise? It wasn't the speed. It was what happened when I tried to scale my third app to handle real users. Let me take you back to November 15th, around 10 p.m. I'm scrolling through a Discord server for AI builders, and I see this comment buried 47 replies deep. Stop using Bolt for anything serious. Try emerging. Urgent. The user had built a SaaS app that hit $3,200 in monthly revenue. But here's what caught my attention. They mentioned native backend and production ready from day one. I'm sitting there frustrated because my latest replit project just crashed trying to handle 50 concurrent users and I'd already burned $340 on Supabase integrations that kept breaking. Because before this, I tried everything. Bolt gave me beautiful UIs but zero backend functionality. I spent $180 connecting third-party services just to get basic authentication working. V0 from Versal, gorgeous components, but the moment I needed a database, I was on my own. That cost me another $95 in Supabase fees and 12 hours of debugging. The worst moment was when a potential customer tried to sign up at 2 a.m., hit an authentication error, and I lost a $500 sale because my patchwork backend couldn't handle it. That Discord comment led me down a completely different path. Emergent had just hit $25 million in annual recurring revenue in 4.5 months. They ranked number one globally twice in SWE benchmarks for coding agents, the actual test that measures whether AI can build real software. Here's the crazy part. While every other platform was selling you on Vibe coding that maxed out at pretty front ends, Emergent had something nobody else had, a multi-agent framework that handles backend, front end testing, and deployment all in one place. No Supabase needed, no external authentication services, no integration hell. Everything clicked when I realized this wasn't about generating code. It was about having your own AI development team. I decided to commit for 30 days with a specific goal, build 12 different apps covering payments, AI integrations, mobile and real-time features. My game plan broke into five phases. Phase one, days one through six, simple apps to learn the platform. Phase two, days seven through 12, add Stripe payments and authentication. Phase three, days 13 through 18, build apps with AI integrations using their universal LLM key. Phase four, days 19 through 25, create a mobile app with React Native. Phase five, days 26 through 30, build something complex with real-time features and multiple integrations. My target was 12 completed apps that could actually handle real users. But honestly, I had no idea if their production ready claim was marketing hype or reality. Day one started rough. I tried building a simple recipe app and my first prompt was way too vague. The AI gave me a basic UI with no backend logic. It cost me two hours realizing I needed to be specific about database structure up front. Day two, I attempted an AI ad generator using their universal LLM key feature. Failed completely because I didn't understand how to structure the prompt for video generation. The output looked like it belonged in a horror movie. Distorted faces, weird transitions, completely unusable. Day three, I tried building a meeting transcription tool, got the front end working, but the real-time transcription kept cutting out after 30 seconds. Turns out I hadn't properly configured the WebSocket connections. Another three hours gone. Day four, disaster. I attempted to add Stripe payments to my recipe app. The integration kept throwing errors I couldn't understand. Spent $15 on test transactions trying to debug it. Nothing worked. By day five, I'm questioning everything. I tried their fork mode feature to save my progress, but I didn't understand version control properly. Lost six hours of work. Day Day six was my breaking point. I built what I thought was a working SQL query tool, deployed it proudly. My friend tested it and it crashed within two minutes because I hadn't set up proper error handling. Day seven, something changed everything. I found Emergent's actual user guide at aibuildguide.emergent.host. This completely reframed how I was approaching the platform. Instead of treating it like a code generator, I needed to think of it as directing a development team. The guide showed me how to structure prompts with specific requirements, database schema, authentication flow, API integrations, testing scenarios. Everything clicked. Within two hours, I rebuilt that recipe app from scratch with proper backend logic, user authentication, and image upload functionality. It actually worked. Here's why this method actually works. Most AI coding platforms are single agent systems. You describe what you want, they generate code, you're on your own for everything else. Emergent uses multiple specialized agents working together. One handles front end, another manages back end, a third runs automated testing, a fourth handles deployment. It mirrors how real development teams operate. The psychology is simple. You're not fighting with code anymore. You're having a conversation with specialists who know their domain. And because everything's native to the platform, there's no integration hell, no API keys to manage, no third-party services that might break tomorrow. The results completely surprised me. In 30 days, I built 12 functional apps, 
App One, the recipe remix tool, handled 247 users in the first week with zero crashes. App Two, the AI ad generator, processed 89 video generations at 32 cents per generation. Total cost was $28.48, and I charged users $2.50 per video. That's $222.50 in revenue with $28.48 in costs. App 3, the meeting transcription assistant, transcribed 34 hours of meetings across 12 languages. App 4, my SQL simplification tool, processed 156 database queries with 94.2% accuracy. App 5, a market size estimator, generated 43 detailed reports. App 6, a Google Sheets AI assistant, handled 78 complex formula requests. App 7, a virtual try on Chrome extension, processed 124 product images. But here's the biggest surprise. App 8, a dating profile generator, generator went semi-viral. 892 users in 10 days. The backend scaled automatically. No intervention needed. That alone would have cost me $600 in additional Supabase capacity on my old setup. With Emergence native backend, the cost increase was $0. My total platform cost for the month was $47. Total revenue from apps that charge users was $1,347. And I still own everything. No platform lock-in. Now let me break down the three methods that actually worked. Method number one, the rapid prototype launcher. This is perfect for testing ideas fast. I used this approach for the recipe app on day seven. Step one, I opened a new project and wrote a detailed prompt specifying the database structure. Users table with authentication, recipes table with ingredients array, images table with Cloudflare storage links. Step two, I described the user flow. User uploads fridge photo, AI analyzes ingredients, generates three custom recipes based on dietary restrictions. User can save favorites. Step three, I specified the AI integration, connect to Claude API through universal LLM key, send image with prompt template, parse recipe JSON response, store and database. The AI built everything in 45 minutes, front end, back end, database, authentication, AI integration, and testing all happened automatically. I deployed it immediately and sent the link to 10 friends. Eight of them used it that same day. The specific result, 34 recipes generated in 24 hours with zero backend errors. The beauty is this method eliminates the prototype to production gap. Method number two, the integration powerhouse. This is for apps that need multiple external services working together. I use this for the AI ad generator on day 14. Step one, I mapped out all integrations up front. Stripe for payments, Claude for script generation, VO3 for video creation, Cloudflare for video storage. Step two, I used Emergence Native Payment Integration Guide, followed their Stripe walkthrough, which handles webhook configuration, subscription logic, and payment verification automatically. Step three, I leveraged the universal LLM key feature. Instead of managing API keys for OpenAI, Claude and Gemini separately, Emergent provides instant access to all of them. I simply specified which model to use for which task. Step four, I built the processing pipeline. User uploads product image, pays $2.50 via Stripe, Claude generates three ad concepts. User selects one, VO3 generates video, system stores and database, and sends download link. Method number three, the scalable empire builder. This is for complex apps with mobile versions, real-time features, and team collaboration. I use this approach for my final app on day 26, a collaborative task manager with AI assistance. Step one, I enabled pro mode. This unlocks the 1 million plus token engine in ultra thinking mode with 16,000 reasoning tokens. Step two, I structured the app with React Native for mobile using Expo. Emergence mobile development support means you're building true native apps for both iOS and Android. Step three, I implemented real-time features using their native WebSocket support. Team members see updates instantly. Step four, I connected GitHub for version control using their advanced integration. This paired with fork mode for maintaining clean version history. Step five, I used Teams feature for collaboration. Brought in two friends to test and iterate in real time. Step six, I deployed with one click using their built-in domain management. Connected my own domain in under five minutes. The app handled 23 concurrent users with real-time sync across devices. Mobile apps worked on both iOS and Android without separate builds. Development time was 18 hours across four days. Step one, spend two hours reading their actual build guide at aibuildguide.emergent.host. Step two, clone three of their example apps and modify them before building from scratch. Step three, start with one app that has payments integrated using their Stripe guide. Step four, let user feedback and data guide your next build.
Here's the reality. Over 2 million people are already building with Emergent. They hit $25 million in annual recurring revenue in just 4.5 months, making them one of the fastest growing AI platforms in history. They're the only platform to rank number one globally twice in SWE benchmarks for coding agents. While Bolt, Replit, V0, and Lovable are fighting over who can generate prettier UIs, Emergent is building the infrastructure for the next generation of indie developers and startup founders. If ChatGPT made everyone a writer and Canva made everyone a designer, Emergent makes everyone a creator of software. The people building with this today will have a 12-month head start on everyone who waits. I'll link Emergent in the description. Use my tracking link and you'll get credits to start building immediately. The only question is whether you'll build or keep scrolling.